Gates County sits in the northeastern part of our state. It's a rural county, cotton grows here, along with peanuts and other crops. But look deeper into Gates County and you'll find beauty. And where there's beauty, there's art. And I didn't realize that there were uh, so many artists um, here in this area until I came into Sunbury and uh, came into Studio 32. Studio 32 began with an empty building and an idea. Maybe we could let people rent spaces here and have a little tiny gift shop. But every time we called an artist, they said, oh, we have places to work. We need a place to sell our things. Before long, word spread about the new gallery in Gates County, and it soon became apparent that there was a lot of talent in this rural community. People literally came to us with their things and said, I make this. You know, do you think anyone would buy it? And we'd say, yes, it's perfect. <laughs> And that's really how things got started. It's pretty amazing the number of people who come here and have so much talent. I do a little bit of everything, just what hits me, but I'm more known for doing my jewelry. It has um, a lot of brass and uh, African um, beads, just some of everything I had at the house. I just laid it out and laid it up there and decided how I wanted it to go. And I am what you know, what's known as a scrim shander, which the scrim shaw. And what it amounts to is you etch in the bone and put ink on it, and what you rub off, what's left is what you get, good or bad. I am going through kind of a repurposing of denim, and I, I actually, this is hand woven, and then I put it on a jeans leg and a bag, and then, you know, pockets and, and such. Um, and these are old um, Altoid tens. A lot of barn work and tractors and, you know, wide open spaces. What I really love is using oil painting and cold wax mixed together to make it its own medium. And then this is uh, applied with a palette knife. Pyrography is a wood burning art. Um, I use a pen. Uh, that gets to about a thousand degrees. I do primarily my art with palette knives only and not brushes. I appreciate the country and I enjoy things, especially nostalgia, things that are going away. This place really has art that people do. Today is a special day at Studio 32. The gallery is honoring three generations of Gates County artists and especially Elizabeth Holmes Freeman Siling. Mrs. Siling has quite a story. Did you start doing artwork as a young child? I was 65, and now wow. I'm 100. Her works on porcelain are exquisite and detailed, and she's happy to share her technique. You paint on it and fire it, and then you wipe it off with a silk cloth, and then you paint on it again, and then fire, and you wipe it off again with silk cloth. It has to be silk, too. Wow. <laughs> and then you paint it on it again. Mrs. Siling was literally born in a house perched on the state line with Virginia, and she remains devoted to art and to Gates County. It's a nice place to live. I used to know everybody in it, but I don't anymore. And for the artists of Studio 32, Mrs. Siling is an inspiration. Absolutely fantastic. Her work is amazing. Oh, what a role model. What a person to be admired and to think, okay, what I can do. She started at 65, for goodness sake. It makes me feel really like I'm not working up to my potential. Studio 32 is at 11 North Carolina Highway 32 in Sunbury. That's in Gates County. And they're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The exhibit honoring Edith Siling runs through February 24th. To plan your visit, give them a call at 252-339-1619. Or check out their Facebook page at facebook.com slash Studio 32 Sunbury for a list of classes and events.